everyone. This is part one of my series on how to use the Brio plugin for G-Posing in Final Fantasy XIV. In part one, we're going to be covering everything to do with actors, including spawning new actors, loading in NPCs, importing and exporting character data, and editing your actor's gear and appearance. Since this is part one of the series, I'm going to preface by saying that mods and plugins such as Brio are technically against Final Fantasy XIV's terms of service. Many people use these plugins every day, myself included, and very few people have actually faced any sort of punishment for using these sorts of mods. That being said, you are using these at your own risk, and I am not going to teach you how to install mods such as Brio. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you already have Brio installed and ready to go. So obviously the first thing you want to do when you're starting up Brio is you're going to start gpose using the slash gpose command. If you have Brio installed, it should open automatically when you start Gpose. If it doesn't, you can open up your log window by hitting enter and then typing in the command slash Brio. So the first thing we're going to do is go over some of these buttons here. There's a lot on here and it looks pretty overwhelming, but it's really not so bad once you get into it. So your first button at the top here is to spawn a new actor. So if I do that, you can see it's going to spawn in my Warrior of Light over here so you can see her. And you can spawn in as many actors as you can handle. There is technically a limit, but it's something like over 200 actors, so I don't think I would ever be able to load in that many before my game just crashed. Um, so the second button you have here is to spawn a new actor with the companion slot. So you can see this is going to bring in my Warrior of Light again. But what I want to do is if I go down here to this companion tab that is now present, we can put in a mount here. So I'm going to bring in the black chocobo mount. And as you can see, this has now spawned my warrior of light mounted on the black chocobo. You can do this with any mount. You can also load minions in here if you would like. There, now you can see that I have my minion running around, although he ran off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that actor. So the next thing on our list here is clone. If you have something like this where you have loaded in someone other than your warrior of light, if you have edited your warrior of light in some way and you want to do it again, you hit this clone button and as you can see it will bring in Ardbert again. So then this brings us to the next button which is destroy. This will obviously get rid of any actors that you don't want here. You don't have to have any actors at all. You can have a completely blank scene if you'd like to delete all of your actors. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video. The next button we've got here is target. This just changes your target to whatever actor you select on the list. I have never really found this to be all that relevant to anything I'm doing. Then our next button here is rename. I have named my warrior of light Brio actor, but we can name this anything we want. I'm going to name Arbert. This is great for if you're doing a scene with a lot of actors and you're having trouble keeping track of who is who. Then our last button on the top here is to redraw. This is just kind of a refresh um, if you have something glitchy going on, or alternatively, if you have changed something about your mods and it's not reflecting properly. You can redraw your character and it will just reload everything about them. So the next thing we're going to go over is loading in NPC appearances. You can see that I have started with our good buddy Arbert here, but we can load in anybody we want. Underneath this appearance tab, you'll see this first button here says load NPC appearance. So I'm going to go in here and type in Thancred. And there we go. And when you go through this list, what you're going to see is the same character listed over and over and over again. That is because you can load in any version of this NPC throughout various parts of the game. So you can see if I go all the way to the bottom of this list here, I can load in ARR Thancred as well. Now with Th characters like Thancred that are in the game a lot, any of the Scions, any characters like that, you're going to see tons and tons of versions of this character. It can be kind of a pain to sift through and find the one you want, so I'm going to show you how to favorite actors as well, so that you don't have to do that every time. So I'm going to open up this Import Characters button here, 
you can ignore these first four files here listed. I'm going to go over here to the search bar and type in Thancred. And as you can see, there are like probably over a hundred Thancreds listed here, including the minions. So I want to try to find the Heaven's Word Thancred, which is probably somewhere in this area. There we go. And now once you find the version that you want, you go back into this Import Characters window, select the one that you just loaded, and there's this heart button down here at the bottom that says Add to Favorites. So I'm going to click on that. And then when you go to this Favorites tab here at the top, you can see that you've just got your favorited characters here. I have a bunch favorited, including four different Thancreds, but this will help narrow it down at the very least. What's great about Brio is that you can load in any NPC appearance that you want. You can load in characters that were only present for events, such as, well, this is the wrong Clive. I was talking about this Clive, but you can load in either one. You can load in child actors like Chloe, and you can even load in non-human actors such as mobs, mounts. I can load in an Ari Man if I want. That we are going to go back to Anchorage, just for the purposes of this video. So now that we know how to spawn actors and NPCs, let's talk about editing those actors. So with your actor selected in the video window, you are going to click this button underneath Appearance, this last one here that says Advanced. So what this brings up is a window that is showing us all of Thancred's gear and all of his appearance information. So all of his gear says unknown because this gear is unique to his model. But if you go through this list, you can see that you can put any gear in the game on him. You can put whatever you want on him. Usually what I do when I'm redressing a character is I'll click this remove all equipment button here at the top. And this puts him in his small clothes. There's also buttons to equip NPC small clothes and to equip the Emperor set. Visually, these don't make a difference, but they may if you're using other mods. So I'm just going to remove all of his equipment. And then we're going to put him in something funny just to demonstrate. I can put him in the Chocobo suit if I want to. I can put him in Alizé's attire if I want to. Um, the only thing that you cannot put certain actors in is any gear that is locked to a certain race or a certain gender. So you can see the Antecedents attire here will not go on Thancred because it is locked to female characters, as is Gaia's attire, Lise, etc. I don't know why Alizé's attire is not locked to females, but it's not. So we're going to put this Chocobo suit back on here. You can also put on his gloves, his shoes, everything down to his jewelry. We're not going to mess with that right now. So we're going to start talking about this left panel here, which is Thancred's appearance data. So at the top here, we've got information about Thancred's race. He is a Midlander here. We have information about his gender. He's masculine. And then this is his age. He's normal. There's also old and young models, but not of Thancred. The next bit we have here is his height and muscle tone. We can change these with these sliders if we want to. Then you've got information about his face, his skin color, hairstyle, facial features, etc. Now with Thancred, Thancred has a unique face. His face number is 219. If you click this button, it will show you all of the faces that you can use in the character creator. Um, and these are 1 through 7. But since Thancred has a unique face, we can't change any of these facial features. He only has the facial features that he is given. If you go through these numbers, you may see some other NPC faces that you recognize. I'm not going to flip through these too much, nor do I recommend that you do, because I tend to find that my game crashes if I mess around with it too much. Um, so we're going to go back to Thancred's default face here, 219. And I'm also going to show you, if you change his face to one of these default player faces, it's pretty similar anyway, you can change other things about his face, such as his jaw, his eye shape, his eyebrow shape, his nose, mouth, etc. You can also change 
facial features like scars, and you can also apply face paint. Now when we're talking about colors, you have these boxes here. This is all of the skin colors that you can choose for Anchored. These are the hair colors you can choose. Alternatively, if you want to get really outside of the box, you have these boxes down here to tint other parts of him. So this first box here, you can see is labeled skin color. I can make the anchored blue if I so choose. I don't know why you would. You can also change his hair color. I can give him lime green hair. I can give him bright pink highlights. You can also change the eye color. So if you decide, okay, I would really like the anchor to go back to normal, you just click this button here that says reset shaders and he's good to go. You've also got hairstyles that you can choose from using this box right here. These are all of the hairstyles that you can apply to your character, um, including ones that need to be unlocked, ones from the store, etc. These are all of the ones that your player can wear outside of G-Post. Alternatively, such as I showed you with the NPC faces, you can also put in numbers for NPC locked hairstyles. So for example, I happen to know that Clive's hair is number 215. I'm going to type 215 into this box, hit enter, and now we've got Thancred with Clive's hair. Now, Clive's hair, along with many others, are race locked. So if I were to change Thancred into Elizin, he still has hair 215, but as you can see, this is now Hesplodeus' hair. So we're going to put him back to a here. And now that we have him looking interesting. I'm going to show you how to export this character data so that you can load it in again later. So say you're really happy with your weird Clive Chocobo Bankrid buddy here and you want to save him for later. So you're going to select him on the list here and underneath his appearance tab we're going to click this button that says export character file. I'm going to save this to my desktop just for ease of access. Name this Thankridge. Save that here. Now what we're going to do is reset our actor back to normal, back to my warrior of light. Let's say I want Thankridge back. I'm going to hit this import character button and it's going to bring up this file explorer again. Rather than searching like we did earlier, we're going to open browse for file. This will take us back to where we save Thankridge's data. We're going to double click on that. And there you go, he is back to the way we had him a minute ago. The only thing that this will not save when you're importing and exporting character data is it is not going to save the tints that you've applied in these boxes down here. So say that you've made Baker's hair a weird color um, and export his character data, it is going to load back to default, so you will have to reapply those fun tints every time that you reload that actor. Alright, and that should do it for this part of the Brio tutorial series. My next video is going to be all about the environment and camera functions that you see at the top here, so stay tuned for that. And then part three is finally going to be all about posing. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or things that you'd like to see me cover in the future, and I would be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.